Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Renee. If this is your first time ever viewing any one of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a return subscriber, hey girl, hey. So today I'm going to do a uh, review of makeup basket number two. So if you miss the first initial video for makeup makeup basket number two click the eye above you'll see the video watch that video come back and see how i like the products that i use for the last two weeks so i pretty much use the same foundation setting powders stuff like that so the only thing that really changes in my makeup basket every two weeks is the eyeshadows blush and lipsticks that i use um, last two weeks I used some Odie's but goodies and it was the reveal one and the reveal two if you don't know what they look like I'm going to show you this is the original reveal by Coastal Scents yes the original and then we have number two which is more like plum colors so I, I really did enjoy both of these um, palettes. They have really good color payoff. Um, the only thing is the shimmery colors that are in both of them. Um, I think Reveal 2 has more shimmery colors than Reveal, Reveal 1. But um, the shimmery colors, you, have, you, you will have fallout. Um, so it's best to use a glitter glue with them, which is the one I used, which was the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. Or, if you don't have a glitter glue, you have a good um, concealer. Take a dab of your concealer. Put it on your eyelid where you want it to, where you want the shadow to be. And um, that will help it, you know, stick to your eyelid, stay in the place that you want it to stay in, stuff like that. And it kind of eliminates the fallout. So that's what I found out with using them for the last two weeks. But I do recommend these palettes, especially if you're looking for something that's affordable and have good payoff. I do recommend these two. Um, just, you know, use a shadow glue, like I said, or your concealer. Um, I love, love, love this e.l.f. palette. They don't make these anymore. I looked it up. They don't make them anymore. But I love this, this blush palette. I got good compliments all week with every color that I used. I even got to points where I was mixing this color with this one and this one with that one. And I would see what this one and this one looks like. Girl, I used this the last two weeks, okay? So this is a really good palette. Um, you might be able to find it on Amazon. I didn't check Amazon. I just checked Elf, you know, eyes, lip, face. But you might be able to find it on Amazon or even eBay. You might be able to find it on there. Um, so check it out if you're interested and this is the blush palette in dark So I enjoyed that I used my covergirl queen last two weeks um, I have to mix it with my 3d Concealer No 3d 3d contour palette. I have to mix it because this does show up kind of red on me And this does have a little bit of shimmer in it, too so, um, me mixing those two palettes kind of plays down the shimmer. But I love to just do, you know, my jawline with this. And um, you fill it in really, really good. Because sometimes your makeup, if you don't blend it all the way like you should, you can tell under your, under your chin where you stopped. You're not supposed to be able to do that. So, blend in your foundation really good under your chin. And then just, you know, swipe your contour in the jawline. And make sure you blend that in really, really good. And it'll look very natural from that color change from your neck to your chin. So you don't have any harsh lines under here. Um, but I use this, you know, my jawline and around the perimeter of my face. I don't do that harsh contour line anymore like I used to. My face ain't set up for that. So makeup, your person personalizing your makeup is to find out what fits you. You can't do everything you see here on YouTube, okay? Practice makes perfect, and that's why you try different things to see what fits you. 
intent. Everybody can't be doing these harsh contour lines and this harsh um, concealer under the eye and all that. Find out what fits your face and go with that. Um, I used up the Too Faced Primer, Hydrating Primer that I was the hangover. I was trying to use up. I used that up finally. So you should you see that in my empties. And um, what else did I use? I used my Avon foundation in the color Sable. It does have a pump. And I used my setting powder, which is Avon as well, in the color Fun. This is what the setting powder looks like. And my Sasha Buttercup to set my... Uh, I can't even say set. To give me brightness under my eyes and around my mouth. I use the Sasha Buttercup. Uh, that's my favorite. I love that. <clears throat> um, I had five, one, two, three, four, yeah, five Avon lipsticks that I was going to use for the next two weeks. I really only used three, and this is one of them, which is very violet. That's one of them. I'm really drawn to purples right now. I don't, I don't get it, but I am. And this one is Super Wine. This is a matte by Avon. It's like a dark red. And the other one was, this is a matte as well. This is Marvelous Mocha. And that's what that one looks like. And those are the three colors that I really wore this um, two weeks. I really like those and I think that was it that's what I mostly used this two weeks out of my makeup basket but but besides what I regularly use oh one more thing so I threw the mascara with the Avon true color super extend lengthening mascara into the mix right and I told you guys that I was gonna put this on first and I actually think I did a get ready with me video using my makeup basket for number two so watch out for that video. Because I think I did do one. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did do one. So watch that video. And you will see me put this on first. And then I go to um, fan myself. Right? And then I come in with the second mascara. Which is the Super Nourishing Mascara. And I use... I, that's the combination that I used this two weeks for the mascara. And... My daughter noticed a difference in my eyelashes. She was like, Mom, you have false eyelashes on? And I was like, no. <laughs> and she was, she said, your eyelashes look longer. So I'm thinking the lengthening, putting the lengthening one on first really helps. And um, even a, a friend of mine at work, he's a guy. So, you know, guys, they don't really know what they trying to say when it comes to makeup or trying to give a woman a compliment. You know, they kind of whatever so he was like man something's different with your eyes and i was like that particular day i was not wearing eyeshadow and um i was like only thing i could think of is you know my eyelashes i did a little something different with my eyelashes that i'm trying out and he was like yeah i think it's your eyelashes they look longer so i'm the lengthening is working so we're gonna keep that a part of the makeup basket so that is it that's my review of makeup basket number two um, of course, next week, you will get makeup basket number three. I thank you guys for watching. Click the eye above. You will see some videos pop up. Check out the description box. My Avon store is there. My email is there. My social medias are there. Um, I also have a Facebook group um, called Enhanced Beauty by Choice. You can go and join the Facebook group. I do post pictures there and I do live videos there. Um, that's mostly where I do my Avon unboxings and new product reviews and stuff like that. So you can join the Facebook group. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you're not a subscriber, you should be. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Click the bell next to the subscribe button. So you are notified every time I upload a video, which is normally every Wednesday. And then you get bonuses sometime throughout the week. So I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.